There have been some pretty epic videos on the channel, but I do just want to quickly say, if you haven't seen the last video on the channel, go and check it out. It is a banger. 40 minutes long of just action with myself and the awesome John Sandman in blind trading. So definitely go and check that out. It's, it's really worth the watch, and I urge you to do that. But today in this video, if you have already watched that and you are an absolute legend, today we're going to be opening 10 of every single champion's crate. C1, C2, C3, and C4. I've done a video before where I opened three of every single crate in Rocket League and I think I've done a video about a year even before that where I did a similar thing to this where I opened a lot of crates before. We'll get into those crates in just a moment but I do want to show you something that was really awesome that I never found a video that I could put it in but this one I thought why not it makes sense I just saw it on my desktop the other day and I thought wait a minute I've been kind of sitting on this video for a while and I want to show it to you guys. It's like a two to three minute montage of me opening golden eggs and crates and stuff, but in like a funny moments fashion with subtitles and just funny pictures and stuff like that thrown in there. And I wanted to show you guys if you like, and I wanted to show you guys, and if you like it, maybe I'll try and get more stuff like this. I wasn't the one that edited it. One of you guys that edited it for me, which I'm massively grateful for. So if you guys enjoy that sort of style of funny moments montages, maybe I could do more in the future. So I'm going to play that for you now. Enjoy it. Watch it. There'll be some memories in there that you guys will have forgotten about over the summer that happened. Uh, but yeah, enjoy it and let me know down in the comments what you think. And maybe I'll get to try and make more stuff like that in the future. I'll take it. You can trade them all up to painted exhaust. Oh! No! 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 This isn't normal. This is not normal. These might be a bit dead to you, but at least there's the element of nostalgia, if nothing else. Oh! Painted Discotex! What? What? Hey, Black Mark, I think. But Fruity... Oh! Painted Voltaics! Let's take a look right now. Um, I've spoken to him personally. Let's go! Let's go! That is insane! Now all we need left in this series is a heat wave. Back to the realm of reality. That was always going to happen in... In these last five, five golden eggs, five golden eggs, one rare or very rare, might have been a Takumi Anubis, can't remember, Lime Discos, Forest Green Voltaics, Parallax, and Heat Wave. That's, and the, it was the two black marks we're looking for. It's certified. We're going to have a look. <laughs> Exotic. Hey, painted certified zombies. Let's get it. Arcana. So we've done 16 already. And, oh, let's go. Let's go. We got ourselves a certified hex. Obviously, uh, there will be gameplay coming to the channel. Uh, there is a labyrinth right there. The more specific ins and outs of it. We got some awesome looking painted certified loopers. Take it. Oh, they look like titanium white FSL wheels. Let's go. I've watched that montage many, many times, and I'll be watching it even more as I'm editing this and stuff, and I just really, really love it, and it's a great way to just kind of... Whoa. It's a great way to, like, sum up moments that have happened in the channel in a really fun and entertaining way, and I really like it. But obviously, stuff like that in the montage and stuff like today where I'm going to open these Champions crates. We'll get a look at them in a minute. Of course, you haven't even seen them. Some of you might be new and ha might have never seen a Champions crate opening. But before we get into that, I have to give a shout-out to my sponsor who make videos like this and videos like the ones that featured in the montage possible. They really do help out the channel. They have made my life so much easier. They, they just... They really help me out, and I know you guys support me and support them, so I'm going to play a sponsored intro. If you've already watched it and you don't want to buy anything from them right now, you know what they're about, feel free to just skip ahead. If you're on keyboard and mouse, if you press L on YouTube twice, skips forward 20 seconds. It's very handy. Just allowing me to have it in the video really is a massive help, and of course, please do smash a like on this video as the ratings of the previous videos recently have been absolutely phenomenal. It's insane. Your support is awesome. So yeah, here's the intro, then we're going to start with the crates. You guys need to go and check out the sponsors of this video, Lolga.com. Com. They sell gift cards for cheaper than they actually are if you use my discount code pixel at checkout for 6% off Say you want a $50 gift card go to the checkout use my code and you can get it for cheaper than $50 If you want to buy V bucks on Fortnite keys on Rocket League or much more then you can go and do that using the link in the description Logger is not affiliated with any game that I'm playing or showing on the channel But they're really supporting me and I hope you go show them some love So with that being said, 
enjoy the rest of the video. I'm gonna go simple one to four. I'm gonna go quick, give you a quick lowdown as to what's in each one, just show you really quickly. So the standout items in this crate, we've got photons and loopers for the exotics, and then the OG black markets. Now, obviously, this video isn't gonna be centered around trade-ups because with only 10 crates per series, we're very unlikely gonna have a decent trade-up. But here's C2. This is the first crate I ever opened, and I got a Dragon Lord. Uh, but the standouts here, of course, the voltaic wheels that used to be called lightning wheels. Pixel fire was always a good one, especially for this channel, and we have the same set of black market decals. Champion. 3, we have the same set of uh, black market decals again. I remember making a video entirely dedicated to me unboxing the Breakout Type S. That's how insane it was. We've got Discos, Pulses, and some Troikas in there as well for good measure. And C4 is the big one, the most valuable one. We got You can get painted FSL wheels, which are great. Painted Spiralis wheels, which to this day are still great. You can get the painted Zombas. Of course, they are insane. And then you got Heatwave, Hexed, and Biomass, the, the two new black markets that were introduced back in 2016. So let's start with Champions Crate 1 and just see how we go. We're going to get in, open the crates, and have a good time. I think this video is going to be... There's probably going to be less edits in it than, you know, other previous videos where a lot happens, you know, and I can edit it down to condensed highlights. This is more of like a, almost like a chatty update video, but I'll still, obviously, I've edited it here and there and stuff like that. Just, uh open these crates and see what we get basically. Why have I got a story for you about the blind training with John Sandman? Now basically, as I said in that video and I've said many times, this video has been a long time coming. We've tried to do it so many times and it just hasn't worked. Time zones have been difficult as well. We did organize it for one evening. Um, and I thought it was the day after because, you know, I said I'll do tomorrow, but it was still the day before for John. So when he, when I said tomorrow, he thought I meant tomorrow for him, not tomorrow for me. So that was confusing. Uh, but anyway, we got the blind training filmed randomly on Sunday morning uh, because he messaged me saying, yo, are you around to record a video? This was at 7.30, by the way. I was still asleep. I woke up at half nine, sent him a message back and said, yes, yes, I am. So we got on and within two hours, we had recorded this blind trading and it was all cool. It was all well and dandy and I had a lot of fun with it. But obviously, you guys know my internet, not good. Not good at all. 0.8 megabyte upload speed the last time I checked. So that meant I had three face cam files for the video to send over to John to put in his video and my gameplay file to send over to John to put in his video. So there we go. We're done with the C1s. My face cam totaled to about nine gigabytes, 3.9, 3.4, and then two point something. So it's about nine gigabytes. And my gameplay file alone was also nine gigabytes. From Sunday morning at 11 a.m., uh, until Tuesday morning, I was uploading my face cam clips to Google Drive. That's how long it was taking. The first one, the biggest one, took about 16 hours, I think a little bit longer maybe, um, to upload. So I, was, I had my computer on the whole time. I was uploading overnight and I thought to myself, it's Tuesday morning. John needs the videos and the clips by Wednesday. There's no way I can physically upload a 9 gigabyte file to, you know, Google Drive and get it there in time. And this video is a 40 minute video. How am I going to get it uploaded to YouTube? That would take like 12 hours or something ridiculous like that. So what I did Sunday night, I ordered a memory stick and the next day delivery made it come on Tuesday because I ordered it too late when I realized how bad the situation was. Tuesday, I received the memory stick, an insane memory stick by the way, it's this one right here, 256 gigabytes, ultra fast, I love it. I took that memory stick, went back to my mum and dad's house where my business internet is still connected for the next couple of weeks and literally stayed there for a couple of hours and uploaded the gameplay to John and uploaded my video to the channel. So what would have taken me about, you know, two days with the, that's not including the upload of the video, just the gameplay alone, about two days to upload, it took me an hour and 20 minutes with my old internet. That is the difference. So it was clutch. <laughs> there's a there's a story for you to take you through the C2s because right now we're opening our last one and we've only had an import. Imports aren't bad, but that's that. I might have actually some leftover imports from these series that I never got to trade up because I, uh, you know, yeah, see there's there's two because I, I never opened Champions Crates again. Let me just check real quick, see if we're close. We're not close there. Maybe C2 we're close. Uh, C2. What? Where would I find C2? No. Okay, never mind. So no trade-ups today. It is all on crate luck. Do I expect to get really anything from 40 crates? I would probably expect 
one good item in a normal crate opening, but there's something about changing the type of crate you're opening that just, it literally makes it feel like you're doing a 10 crate opening just four times, which you are, but it feels like you're only going to get the good stuff that you get in 10. But hey, there we go. We got some painted troikas. Like if we open 40 players choice crates, I'd feel more confident of getting a black market decal than opening 10 of each champion's crate. Even though the odds are the same, I just feel like the split of crate, it just feels like you're restarting again. It feels like you've just not had anything before. It doesn't feel very good. There's the Dominus Mondo. There is a Mondo. That, now that, that is a decal for the ages. Coming up next, we have an import. C3s have definitely been the best dark matter. That was seen, like, over two years ago. That was a, that was a good crate. That was a, like an oh sort of crate, you know? Um, man. Oh, man. The memories. The memories of this. Come on. I mean, obviously, it didn't, it didn't open the crate like this. It went through the spinner, which I'm not sure if I miss or not. This one, it definitely, you definitely open crates quicker, which I guess is a good thing. But, oh my gosh, I thought I was painted. But then you realize you can't get painted from this. But yeah, Hypernova, that's not too bad. Okay, so I might actually be able to do an import to Exotic Trader from C3, which is pretty cool. Maybe, I don't know. It depends. If we get the right amount of very rares, we should be able to make a fifth import. And maybe we will. Maybe. We'll see how this goes. That's going to be a rare, right? Yeah, that's a rare. Maybe I'll try it out. I'll try at the end, look through briefly for some trade-ups to see if we can do anything. We can. There's an import. And there's a Dark Matter, baby. Okay, so we've got... Let's do a cheeky little import trade-up, shall we? Let's let's do it. Let's do it. There we go. There we go. Come on. Normal Pulses wheels. That's basically all the C3 crates down the drain. But this is the big one. The main event. Zombas are a possibility. Heat Wave is a possibility. Those are really it, you know. But to be fair, to have a crate with items of that caliber in it with you know since over two years since it came out that's that's still a pretty good crate but i can see this getting rare central i've never had like a white zomba in a c4 crate or anything and i remember oh my gosh i thought they were at least white aras oh man first exotic of the video in a crate it's the c4 crate but it's not a zomba um I had them on before. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Before I had Playmaker, Aviator, White Zombers. Not Playmaker, Aviator, White Zombers. Did I say Playmaker or Player's Choice? Player's Choice, Aviator, White Zombers. I just got White Zombers again in a C4 crate. Four C4 crates. <laughs> yes. Yes. What was that? I can't believe we've done it again. How? How? Oh my gosh. I literally said I never had white zombies in a C4 crate and the luck was always bad. And what do we do? What do we do? <laughs> yes. Oh, snap. I like, okay. So here's the thing. When I got white zombies in a video recently, you go, you go into 25 import to exotic traits with player's choice and think, you know, there's a not a good chance of getting white zombies, but it's really in the realm of possibility. You think that's going to happen. When you open 10 Champions 4 crates, especially when I've opened hundreds before and never even like got close, never got white zombies, it wasn't even in my mind. And the fact I had them equipped, they were coming up on other spins as well, so I didn't think anything of it. But when it said zomba painted and it was still white, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that exotic glow. Literally, it doesn't matter what we get. I just got, for the first time in my life, C4 white zombies. <laughs> oh! I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. 2019 is still... <laughs> It's a lucky year for Rocket League, ladies and gentlemen. We definitely say the best for last. C1 wasn't good. C2 wasn't good either. C3 was better. Like three imports in there at least, I think, which was great. C4, we got the ARA, which was pure bait. And then the crate after. Why Zombas? Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm stunned. I'm up. 
Getting white zombies, white certified zombies in trade ups, that was insane. The white striker zombies in a trade up with other white zombies. When I was doing that many trade ups, it, it was a possibility to me. White zombies in my fourth C4 crate in a video where I only opened 10. <laughs> I'm speechless. I'm not, I'm talking. I just don't know what to do with myself. I can't wait to get this video out to you guys. This video is going up two days after I recorded it, so. Right now, I'm buzzing at just the thought of uploading this to you guys. So either way, that is going to do it for this video. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. Obviously, subscribe to the John the Pixel Army. Get yourself some of that Pick a Pixel crate luck. And uh, yeah, leave a like on the videos. And I'll see you in the next video very soon.